hello everyone welcome back so in the last videos you know we did build uh, the application of you know uh, kind of in you know, a simpler version of the uh, google forms you know where we were having an option to create a simple forms with the multiple options along with the uh, short response as well as the single choice question you know and then share with our users and then make use of it so that was good experience and now i'm back with the a new application so um, in this uh, uh, playlist you know we'll be building a newer application and i'm very excited to showcase you the glimpse and uh, peak view of how it's going to look once we complete this application and i'm naming it as in you know, a code sharing application so this is going to be really a lot of learning even this application and uh, we can use it uh, in various ways okay so let me quickly showcase you the uh, output and talk you through the application so going to our application so this is how our application is going to look like and i'm naming it as in a code share okay so this is the application you know agnos irrespective of the language you're developing in uh, agnostic language uh, uh, sharing application and so let's say like you wanted to share some part of a code with other developer with some other guy you know this is the application that you could uh, rely on and uh, we have a beautiful uh, you know uh, way of you know copying the link you know copying image and styling it you know so that it looks as elegant as possible let me quickly showcase you one of the example so this is the you know home page that it's going to look like let's say like you know i wanted to uh, write some uh, let's say i'm just going to uh, write some function okay so here uh, i'm just going to have this function so you see uh, the uh, way that we are styling and the way uh, we are recognizing the typescript language and uh, automatically coloring the function and making look as uh, look it as as effective as possible okay so i'm just going to uh, see uh, let's say you know this is the code so now we do have here you see very beautiful in you know, a toolbar at the bottom which is very you know draggable so you can take it to any part of the uh, uh, application that you want it so that it be as comfortable as for you so now i did select this typescript so that's why we see this thing and let's say like uh, we have an option to change the themes so you see here we have a beautiful uh, way of changing animations and uh, make it look as beautiful as possible so this is the thing so this is how we have you know we can even customize with the multiple things you know we have an option to uh, select the color whichever color we want and also the color mode you know which is the uh, rgb you know lrgb and all those things and also gradient angle so we have an option to change gradient you see immediately where uh, the moment we're changing we see the reflection in the above part and also the option to apply green as well okay fine uh, so this is the uh, application and we do have a support for multiple uh, languages so be it you know uh, kotlin be it you know uh, javascript be it java be it python so we have support for that so this is the uh, simple uh, the uh, home page that it's going to look like okay and uh, let's say now you know uh, and now let's say like you wanted to store this in your application so for that we are having an option to sign in uh, with github so okay so now i'm just going to sign in this okay let's sign in uh, to this application okay so now i'm signed in and this is the image that so as of now i don't have any snippets uh, uh, in my dashboard okay so now let me uh, create this uh, new uh, thing uh, snippet and uh, here is the thing so i'm just going to you know write the same thing uh, quickly So immediately you see the chair reflection here we are automatically saving based on the keystrokes that user is entering and showcasing the status of that so here you can immediately see that and you know, on the top so it's going to be very uh, a uh, good experience application okay so this is the thing now so we see uh, once we log in we were uh, we have an option uh, this things enabled so to copy this link you know to copy this as an image and also options to increase the font size the way you want it and increase the padding you know you see as an, so i'm increasing padding we see the um, in the immediate reflection okay 
and also if you want the line numbers to be disabled so you can just you know toggle this and now let's say that i just copied this so going here you know uh, i'm just going to see uh, the link is automatically copied and we see the immediate reflection of the uh, code that we did and also we have an option to change the font types you know font family so we can change it to whatever uh, works better for us and also an option to copy image so immediately we'll see uh, this image would be copied so that we can use in our any part of the decks or in any part of the video or in the documentation that we are making so that it looks uh, very appealing to the end users or other people who are consuming your docs or decks okay and also we have an option to download this as a png so as soon as i uh, click immediately you see this is uh, being downloaded and uh, we can see the uh, thing so opening this you know you see this is the image that they download so it this is how you know it's going to be really a very good and uh, application and as soon as you share this to someone else and let's say they're viewing it we have we have an option to you know showcase the number of people did view this part of the snippet and uh, so that way of analyzing the uh our snippet okay so as of now we did not share with anyone that's the reason we see this but you know uh you know if in case we share you know we see this uh, reflection and this is how we go back to the uh dashboard so going back you know as of now we see this and i can uh you know click on this and go to the snippet and right click on this and i have an option to rename this so here you know i'm just going to name this as you know had uh, two numbers so see uh, the uh, we can have the option to you know delete as well as copy this link and rename this and you know clicking on this takes us to the uh, editor page okay this is where we do editing so this is what i wanted to talk about and uh, i i can tell you this is going to be really a lot of you know, uh, you know good application and we're going to learn a lot of it and uh, uh, we are going to build it from scratch and learn a lot of things so hopefully uh, i think you guys uh, will like this and uh, please like and subscribe and share even you feel uh, it did help you in some other way thank you so much